from PRX. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and friends beyond the binary, my patron peeps, it's time for the podcaster who's just getting comfortable so I can make you comfortable. Uh, it's time for sleep with me. Thanks, patrons. Hey, before we move on here, you know, sleep with me becomes a place of uh, caring, of empathy and compassion. And when I say you deserve a good night's sleep, you also, if you need a little bit of extra help right now, you deserve that too, of taking that step. There's links to organizations you could connect with right now in the show notes. You know, there's numbers, there's text lines. Uh, so please use those resources. Please use them right now. Like I said, you deserve it. It also means supporting the members of our community, being a part of positive change and proving by our actions the fact that black lives matter. So uh, please uh, use those resources, or if you've been impacted by racism, use those resources because you're important, okay? That's why I'm here, to to, 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 to try to help in, in this way, which is taking your mind off stuff and keeping you company. And here's a few ways I'm able to do that for you twice a week for free. Hey, this is Scoots, and I was just wondering if you could take a second and look back at uh, how your year with Sleep With Me went, because 2020 has been a year, and I really hope the podcast was there for you when you needed it. How many times did you listen? How many months have you been listening for? Thanks so much. And then when I think about 2021, I'm, I'm going to be there on a regular basis, just like I was here this year for you, to put you to sleep and to keep you company. And I don't know if you're in a position, you say, wow, I really did listen to a lot of sleep with me in 2020, probably 100, 200 episodes. If you're in a position to do so, could you consider becoming an annual patron for 2021 or a monthly patron? It makes a huge difference. That's how I was able to be there. Uh, you know, I... There was certainty. Sleep with me was there Wednesday and Sunday night for you. And a big part of that was because I could rely on the patrons, uh, just a small percentage of listeners who are in a position and choose to be rebels with a the cause. They say, I get so much out of a free podcast, I'm going to pay for it. And now people are becoming annual patrons and saying, I'm going to make it. I, mean, I know I'm going to use sleep with me for the next year. Or I know a lot of other people get a benefit out of sleep with me. So think about it. You could do it at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash patron. That's a sleep with me podcast podcast.com slash patron. Uh, sign up as a, a, a monthly or an annual patron. If you do an annual patronage, uh, you'll save, uh, you'll get a month for free. But think about it. I'm going to be here for 2021 either way for you. Uh, but if you're in a position to do so and you got a lot out of the show in 2020, think about being a rebel with the cause and paying for a free podcast. It's pretty rebellious and I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Sleep with me podcast.com slash patron. All right, everybody, it's Scoots here, and I'm talking about Helix. It's the bed I sleep in every single night. But what I feel great about our partnership with Helix is, is that you can find the right mattress for you. Because to choose a mattress, Helix made a quiz that just takes two minutes to complete, matches your body type and sleep preferences uh, to the perfect mattress for you. So if you like a mattress that's soft or firm, whether you sleep on your side or your back or your stomach, you sleep really hot. With Helix, there's a specific mattress for each and everybody's unique taste. And Helix makes personalized mattresses right here in America. They're shipped straight to your door with free, no contact delivery, free returns, and a 100-night sleep trial. And when I took the quiz, I was matched with the Helix uh, Dusk and uh, because I sleep on my stomach, I sleep on my side, and I sleep hot. So my, those were my needs. And most of all, my big need was to be comfortable and get a good night's sleep. So think about this year. It, oh boy, has it been, a, you know, it, there's nothing more important than a good night's sleep, particularly this year. You deserve a new bed. Think about that bed you're in now. How long have you had it? Do you really see, when you get in bed, you say, oh boy, whew, this is nice. This feels like a mattress matched to what I need to get a good night's sleep. If you're not saying that, it's time to take that Helix quiz. And that's all you need to do. And plus, you don't have to take my word for it. I love Helix, uh, but Helix was awarded the number one best overall mattress pick of 2020 by GQ 
Wired Magazine, and Apartment Therapy. So here's all you need to do. Just go to helixsleep.com slash sleep. Take their two-minute sleep quiz, and they'll match you to a customized mattress that'll give you the best sleep of your life. They have a 10-year warranty, and you get to try it out for 100 nights risk-free. They'll even pick it up for you if you don't love it, but you will. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for Sleep With Me listeners at helixsleep.com slash sleep. Right, Mr. Bard? Just go to helixsleep.com slash sleep. Take their two-minute sleep quiz. The customized mattress will give you the best sleep of your life. And you'll be saying, gee whiz, helix Thanks, Mr. Bard. That's helix, H-E-L-I-X sleep.com slash sleep for up to $200 off. Thanks, everybody. All right, everybody. It's time to talk about that sponsor that's perfect around bedtime because uh, right before bedtime, as you start to get ready to wind down, what do you say you make it tea time with Celestial Seasonings? We all know that a sleepy time tea from Celestial Seasonings is the perfect cup of for your bedtime routine. It can help you start to wind down your day and set yourself up for a good night's sleep. And Sleepy Time Tea is crafted with delicate chamomile, cool spearmint, and fresh lemongrass. And there's comfort and relaxation in every cup. But can you can you just picture me two hands on that cup? I'm, I'm trying to think of what what is your favorite Sleepy Time Tea? Please let me know because I say, well, should I have some Sleepy Time Mint or some Sleepy Time Vanilla? But what what's your favorite sleepy time go ahead let me know go ahead you say it out loud say i love sleepy time sleepy time does just fine by me scoots if you can let me and celestial seasonings know online what's your favorite sleepy time tea like which one should i be trying out so whether you're drinking sleepy time at night or candy cane lane or bengal spice in the afternoon or while you're recording a podcast like me celestial seasonings is the original herbal tea company it's been blended in Boulder since 1969. And I want you to head over to CelestialSeasonings.com. That's C-E-L-E-S-T-I-A-L-S-E-A-S-O-N-I-N-G-S.com. You could also use the link in our show notes. You could use the link on our website, or you could just type it in, Celestial Seasonings. Not only can you choose your tea over at Celestial Seasonings, you can learn more about Celestial Seasonings and how they've always been true to the roots since 1969. More than just a tea company, Celestial Seasonings uh, makes delicious teas that improve people's lives by inviting balance, and that belief drives their commitment to customers, their community, and our planet. So get over there, order some tea, read more about Celestial Seasonings. They have recipes, they have their history, and there's even stuff about their iconic artwork. Uh, And you can go over there, you can say, Scoots, I had no idea how many flavors of Sleepy Time tea there were. at celestialseasonings.com. And don't forget to let me know. Thanks, everybody. All right, everybody. It's time for the Sleepy Supporter Zone. The one part of the podcast I need you to hear. It's where I pop my peas, if you please. I thank the listeners who supported the sponsors so I can be here for a choice a week for free. So I want to thank Allison, Kate, and Stacy who supported Brooklyn, and Ginger, who supported Celestial Seasonings, Anastasia, who supported KiwiCo, and Ava, who got a coral blend Jets. Uh, thank you for supporting the sponsors. If you support a sponsor, be sure to let them know about it. You could tag them on social media, share it in your Instagram story, you know, share a picture. That's the biggest way to help. But you could also just let them know you heard about them on Sleep With Me. So they know their partnership is val- valuable. Uh, more valuable than my speaking. And if you if you do, let me know about it. Tag, you know, like I said, tag them, tag me. So I can thank you here on the Sleepy Supporter Zone, like Ginger, Allison, Kate, Stacy, Ava, and Anastasia. The second part of the Sleepy Supporter Zone is you getting the support you need. If you, you're in need right now in this moment, there's links to resources you can connect with in the show notes. So take that step, please, right now. You're worth it. Please take that step and, and connect with some resources. It's also about supporting the 
lives of our listeners in, in saying, when I say your good night sleep is important, it means our listeners, our community is important. And that means saying and meaning that black lives matter, black mental health matters. So whether you want to be a part of change, you want to find, you know, you want to look inward, you want to act outward, where you've been impacted, there's going to be links to organizations you can connect with in the show notes. And the third part of sleep is word is always something I support. And I want to tell you by the end of this is the end of the year. If you haven't listened to appearances by Sharon Mashihi yet, please don't. This was one of the best things I listened to all year. It's an amazing, amazing podcast. It combines a feel of a personal essay with fiction. If you like that part of Sleep With Me, but you wanted something to listen to in the daytime that's more visceral and experiential, uh, please listen. It's appearances. I'll have a link in the show notes, but you can find it right now in your podcast app of choice. And that is the end of the Sleepy Supporter Zone. A mystery bar. A lot of people help out on this show. Who are they? Posty poster song. Sounds like an earful. Wrote the theme song. Edits episodes too. Carl W. The Legend. Also edits episodes. Kenny, Scotty, Jennifer, and Ashley. Runner, 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 runner. Eric and the team. Let us down. They're on the website. I am the mystery bar. I do the lullabies, yeah. I do commissions at JonathanMan.net. I'll write a song for you. It's almost Christmas, y'all. You can tell me the story, yeah. You see the kindness shine straight on through When the listeners form their own Facebook group Keith, Stacy, Sarah, Julie, and Jennifer These are your moderators Get support, dear Scooter, on Patreon Buy the merch and support the sponsors You can find anything you want At sleepwithmepodcast.com And we're so proud Thanks, Mystery Bard. I'm at Dearest Scooter on Twitter and Instagram. That's where you can find me. What do you say we slow it down and get on with the show? Uh, hey, everybody, this is Scooter, and this uh, is a collection of all intro episodes, uh, so intro after intro after intro. We put them out around uh, long weekends and holidays. It's one of our more popular features uh, that people really enjoy. And if you really love in- all intros, uh, $10 and up patrons get uh, uh, their own exclusive all intro episodes uh, twice a month as well, in addition to all these ones we put out on holidays. But I hope you're having a, a-, a holiday season season where you're practicing good self-care and taking things moment to moment and pausing uh, to, to give yourself credit for for, 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 for 20 you know give yourself credit and uh, be kind to yourself and, and then extend that outward uh, so uh, thanks so much for listening to the show uh, this year i really appreciate all the support i've gotten it's really been heartwarming and filled me with gratitude and a really glad that I could be a service uh, to so many of you and then help you in particular uh, get the rest you needed uh, this year. Thanks. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, this is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's thoughts bubbling up or, you know, on your mind, in your mind, around your mind. You know, you, hey, thoughts, I'm, I, 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 do you mind? I'm trying to uh, get through, a, like, thoughts, uh, feelings, you know, emotions you're experiencing, uh, physical sensations or physical sensations. Uh, whatever's keeping you up, I'd like to take your mind off it. It could be changing schedule, travel, whatever it is. I'm here to help. I'm here to distract you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'm going to use these lulling, soothing, creaky dulcet tones, some pointless meanders, tangents, superfluous dialogue, description. Uh, superfluous. You say, well, that's a little, you're heavy on the superfluous. Uh, superb, I wish, I, I don't know if I said this, but I, I like my superfluous to be superb. Superb, uh, you know, like how many times do you say superb without putting your finger to your lips and doing that kiss thing? Like the, the is that an international symbol for deliciousness? Or just, because uh, it also says okay. It's very similar to the okay symbol, but really you're saying, hmm. Um,
delightful, delicious, superb. Okay, but I'm going to send my cre creaky dulcetones, pointless meanders, tangents. Uh, if you're new, hey, welcome. Uh, here's a couple things right off the bat. I'm glad you're here, and I hope I can help. Uh, but all I ask is you give it a few tries. And actually, that's not all I ask. That's what most listeners say. Hey, you took me a few tries. You can read the reviews. Uh, there's even people said, well, I didn't like it at first. And then I gave it a few tries. I said, oh, wait a second. <laughs> I don't know if this is something you like or dislike. It's kind of like, uh, oh, hmm. And don't try too hard to make sense of it. Because the podcast, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's uh, pretty goofy. And it, like I said, I don't, I, do you hear how many times I do, like I, I, uh, I do a lot of stuff like that. So I try to consume it loosely. Like hopefully you're comfortable in bed or you're sitting somewhere comfortable. And, uh, you know, I'm smoothing and patting this uh, safe place as I always do. More looks like I'm, if you could see me, you'd say, Scooch, are you sure you're not waxing the safe place? And I'd say, actually, I get a new feature in this safe place, a seasonal feature. Because uh, I heard, I think there's something called like waxed canvas. So I'm waxing some canvas. A well, wiggity wiggity waxing it, by the way, just in case you needed a little uh, a giggle spritz. And it's actually to protect you from the spritz uh, coming in for the season. It's a canvas, waxed canvas tarp that I'm waxing. Scoots, that's car, car carnauba wax. Don't you use that on cars and not canvas? Yeah, Brain, thanks uh, for telling me that after I purchased it. Uh, this was the only wax they had at the 99-cent store. I mean, the Super Deluxe a Safe Place a Store of Excellence, where you only get superb products. And actually, I'm already off topic because I was trying to welcome the new listeners. So I'll get back to my wiggity-wiggity waxing uh, later. Okay, so you, uh, don't try to make too, sen too much sense of this podcast. I think I just proved that point accidentally. It's, I'm still waxing it, but maybe doing some polishing uh, and some rubbing it down, safe place. Uh, but uh, so, okay, so don't try to make too so much sense of the podcast. If you're new, here's what to expect structurally. The show starts off with a few minutes of business. Regular listeners know that that's how we keep the show going. Uh, when your hand hits the fridge tomorrow, I'll just say, huh, how does they keep the show going? If you're new, not super important. Thanks for sticking through that. Uh, then there's an intro. The intros are about 12 minutes of me explaining what the podcast is, kind of ineffectively or inefficiently. Because I'll say, well, let me do say, What am I in the middle of a podcast intro? Let me stop and uh, look in the. Does this, excuse me, does this 99 cent store have a wax aisle? Oh, what do I need to wax? Great question. Wow, you, you're you you're uh, really at the top of your game. Oh, this is an imaginary 99 cent store. Even you, Maybe then stuff will actually be 99 cents. It, like all-inclusive 99 cent store. It doesn't mean everything, oh, everything is definitely 99 cents at this one. Wow. And you have wax aisle? No, you have wax. Oh, because you say floor. Well, I'm looking for something in the Carnuba. Just a beautiful word. Is carnauba wax just for cars, or uh, do you have any of that wax, uh, like tortoise wax? How about that? Okay. All 99 cents. Excellent. Let me fill up. Let me go get a cart. Actually, I'm in the podcast intro. I got to get back to you. Sorry about that. That's what happens in the intros. I try to make a metaphor for the show. And the next thing you know, I'm, I'm shopping. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring you along here, but uh, the, the, this... Uh, some people say this 99 cent store is wax, uh, whack, uh, but maybe they meant it's full of wax. Uh, trying to, to, to trying too hard there, Scoots. Well, this is a joke like. I, I'm not here to give jokes. I'm here to be mildly amusing. Oh, you have an amusement aisle. Do you mind if I move into this 99 cent store? Oh, as with all things in the podcast center, it's within my brain already. Uh, great. Uh, do me a flavor, favor then, a flavor too. Do not inflate any balloons and say, you know, period. The noise, and I don't need any balloon inflating going on in my, oh, yeah, it's a, my, my, my brain has a atmosphere of helium. Oh, well, cool. 
Oh, hot air and helium. Great. Uh, okay, sorry. So structurally, uh, where was I? Oh, you don't need to listen to me. Oh, stru- so then the show starts off with an intro. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Then between the intro and the episode is a little business. And then is uh, tonight it'll be a recap of our serially a- episodic series, uh, Nuns in Space, The Stan Chronicles. A little look back at kind of the genesis of ideas and, and how it went and stuff like that. And then at the end of the show are some thank yous and good nights. Uh, that's the structure of the show. I think I established you don't really need to listen. You can listen or you can kind of passively listen or, or you know, kind of view me as like, a, you know, mild, you know, like a neutral noise. But if you need to listen, I'm going to be here till the very end uh, because I've been there. And I've been there when I just needed something to distract me while I fell asleep. I've been there when I couldn't sleep and I just wanted a friend in the deep dark night to keep me company for a few hours. And more recently, I've just been there when I just wake up mysteriously. I don't even have to go. And I say, oh, uh, and I've needed a little bit of comfort and distraction. So if it's any of those or something I'm not mentioning... I'm here to help. Use the show. I guess my message is use the show as you wish. But if you just need it, if you're sleepless and you're just looking for some companionship, I'll be here uh, goofing around uh, to, you know, to, to, for an hour. And you can queue up episode after episode if you need it. So that's uh, the show. Oh, then, yeah, then there'll be a story. That's the structure of the show. You don't need to listen. Yeah, and also I guess uh, this kind of goes into what I was saying. No pressure to fall asleep. That's why I'll be here about an hour. Fall asleep as you wish. Uh, just slowly drift away, or let me slowly drift away with my helium brain. Uh, but that's it. And I guess, like, I still haven't figured out that canvas waxing. While I was talking, I picked up another piece of canvas. Well, actually, uh, are old jeans canvas, or is den- are denim and canvas different things? They are. Well, maybe we could do, do a word. What is it called? Min- MVP, minimum viable product. Maybe I'll make use these denim jeans to, to prove if we could use a can make these denim jeans into a canvas tarp, wax it uh, to keep our uh, a safe place dry. Or I could just buy a tarp. You're right. What about a canvas waxed canvas one? What do they wax? Is it like a paraffin wax? Um, or something else, because they just say, can, is can, oh, candles are made from wax. I was just about to ask that, and then my brain said, you're kidding, right, Scoots? Don't ask that. I know the answer. I can't, how about, here's the thing. I'm not Obviously, I'm not in the waxing business or the wax sales, but you could say, uh, with essence of, if it doesn't have 100% beeswax, put a little bit in there and say, with essence of beeswax, this safe place Watched over, we'll need something else other than watched over. That'll be temporary. That's another MVP. Minimum viable pronoun. I don't know if that's a pronoun, though. Uh, Watched over, stretched above our safe place, shielding it. Shielding, stretched above our safe, something. Shielding it is a good word to write. Uh, uh, The finest... uh, Sun sun washed. I heard that term too recently. Uh, waxed canvas. Uh, so you know, here's a. Uh, this is totally unrelated too. If you have a bee, if you're in the honey business or the beeswax business, uh, you, see, you just let, you just use my friend's mom's name, Ginny. It, Ginny's honey. It's the bee's knees. Uh, how, how's that sound? It, Ginny's beeswax. It's the bee's knees. Or uh, what if it was a bomb, like a beeswax bomb? You'd say uh, bomb and bee, the, be, this beeswax, you know, something like we'd wax the bee. I, I'm missing a part of it, but that's why I make a sleep podcast and I'm not like on uh, working with Don Draper. You'd say wax in the bee's knees since 1963s. So there you go. Wiggity wax in the bee's knees. No, we don't need that extra part, uh, teenage brain. Anyway, I guess the main message is I'm here to help. The way I help is basically screwing around a little bit, horsing around. Thank you, Grandma Brain.
and uh, to, to just keep you company. I, I want to be your friend in the deep dark night, your boar friend, your boar bay, your boar cuz, your boar sib, your boar bud. I'm here to help. And the way I'm going to do it is uh, tell you a story, take your mind off of stuff uh, with some friendly banter. You give it a few tries, uh, see if it helps. But here's the thing. I really appreciate you checking the show out and coming by. And I want you to know I work very hard and I strive and I yearn uh, to help you fall asleep. Thanks so much. And uh, here's a few ways we keep the show uh, going. Hey, everybody. It's Scoots here, and I'm here to talk about therapy. I work with a licensed professional therapist uh, on a regular basis, and it has been so beneficial in my life. And if you're out there thinking about it, you know, you're, you're dealing with something, you're feeling overwhelmed, maybe it's anxiety, maybe you just want to make some changes in your life, and you want to have someone there to listen and to help you with issues. Uh, a professional therapist is an amazing, for me, life-changing resource. So whatever it is anxiety, grief, depression, relationships, uh, sleep, anything you're dealing with. A licensed professional therapist can help. And with BetterHelp, all you do is simply fill out a questionnaire to help assess your basic needs. And then you get matched with your counselor in under 48 hours. From there, you can easily schedule secure video or phone sessions, plus exchange unlimited messages to communicate with your therapist at your convenience. And everything you share is confidential. If for any reason you're you're unhappy with your counselor, you can request a new one at any time at no additional charge. So you can find someone you feel good with, which is just another important part of the process. It's just another safe place to, for you to find. Join the 1 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced BetterHelp counselor. BetterHelp is an affordable option for our listeners and get 10% off your first month with the discount code SLEEPWITHME. That's one word, sleep with me. Get started today at B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com. That's betterhelp dot com slash sleep with me. Talk to a therapist online and get help. Betterhelp dot com slash sleep with me for 10 percent off your first month. Thanks, everybody. All right, everybody, it's gift giving time, and I can't think of a better gift than peace of mind and uh, relief from nausea. And I've seen, you've heard, you've probably heard these spots before. Uh, relief band is who I'm talking about. And it's pretty much the best gift you could ever give someone in your life that experiences nausea. And that includes you, because me, I was uh, on a long drive and I experienced it. I got to use a relief band and it worked. It relieved my nausea, which could have been a vi- taken a long car ride and made it even longer. And then I overnogged. I had way too much nog, eggnog. Uh, and that's all I'll say. And the relief band worked it there too. The best thing about relief band is you can keep it with you. You could take it on the go. And think about that. If you've experienced nausea or you think about someone in your life that has, and they just put this band on their wrist, it starts working. It makes me so excited because I know people in my life that get car sick all the time. So that's our new partner, relief band. And it's the number one FDA cleared anti nausea wristband that has been clinically proven and worked for scoots to relieve nausea and vomiting associated with motion sickness, morning sickness, chemotherapy, anxieties, hangovers, migraines, and so much more, including to drinking too much NA eggnog out of the carton. The product has 100% drug free, non drowsy, fast acting, and provides all natural relief with zero side effects. I mean, you should think about uh, if you you should buy one and try it out you cannot believe the, the, like how well this thing works what a gift to give someone relief from nausea and this isn't something new the technology was originally developed over 20 years ago in hospitals to relieve nausea from patients but now through relief band is available to everyone and the way it works is relief band stimulates a nerve in the wrist that travels to the part of the brain that controls nausea and then it blocks the signal your brain is sending to your stomach to tell you you are sick and relief band is the only over-the-counter wearable device that has been used in hospitals and oncology clinics to treat nausea and vomiting. So I'll say it one more time. If there's someone in your life that experiences nausea, give them a relief band as a holiday gift. They'll never forget.
forget it. Every time they feel good, they're going to think of you. This holiday season helps someone reclaim their life from fear of nausea. Right now, Relief Band has an exclusive offer just for Sleep With Me listeners. If you go to reliefband.com and use the promo code SLEEP, you'll receive 20% off. So head to R-E-L-I-E-F-B-A-N-D.com and use our promo code SLEEP for 20% off. Reliefband.com and use that promo code SLEEP. Thanks, everybody. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble, or getting to sleep, trouble, staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do it a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's thoughts, feelings, physical sensations, things you're thinking about, things you're physically coming up for you or emotionally bubbling up for you, or all of them, you know, changes, your travel, uh, what you know, like uh, seasonal stuff. Oh boy, stuffing, seasonal stuffing, or stu- you know, any of those things. Uh, whatever's keeping you up, I'd like to take your mind off of that. And what I'm going to do is try to create a safe place, as I said. So come on in, uh, get comfy or cozy if you wish. But there's not, you don't even need to do that. Because uh, what I'm going to do, you could just t- take it for it's. I do delivery because uh, I send my voice across the deep dark night. I'm going to use lulling, soothing, creaky dulcet tones, pointless meanders, superfluous tangents, uh, you know, extra dialogue, filler words, rumination, like uh, thoughts on rumination. Uh, but we'll, we'll, you know, we'll be talking about that. Uh, it's a very strong word. You know, I'll be ruminating on rumination, the word rumination. Because I do like it. It, it, like it, it is very, that's a tactile word. Uh, but let me get to the new, if you're new, let me give you a couple things to go by. Thanks for checking the show out. Uh, let me structurally give you a lowdown because it can be confusing. This is a new podcast. You're probably skeptical, which makes total sense. If this is your first encounter with creaky dulcet tones and pointless meanders, you're, uh, let me, uh, let me, yeah, I just want to get you, uh, Comfortable, I guess, would be the word. I was going to say organized, but you, you don't need to throw your stuff wherever you want or place it gently. You know, do t- you know, t- take your shoes off, leave them on. I also have these different uh, other things. So, you know, we have socks, we have uh, slippers, flats, those things, those things that are on Facebook ads that you put on your feet. Look at all of those, that stuff. Uh, oh, structurally, what to expect. A show starts off with just a few minutes of business. And then it goes into an intro. And it's not important for new listeners, uh, but that's literally how we keep the show going and free. Uh, Then there's an intro, which we've just started. Intro is not an advertisement. It's a show within a show. Uh, Like like to kind of, for a new listener, it's a kind of weird, it's a, a bit of a contradiction, just like everything in the sleep podcast business that I'm involved in. Because uh, it's here to kind of introduce a concept, uh, in, <laughs> introduce an impossible concept to, to the new listener, and to put the regular listener either at ease, or have them fall asleep, or be something familiar, uh, put a smile on your face or their face. Uh, so that's about twelve minutes, a twelve minute intro, and usually what happens is I, I talk, then I go off topic, which is what happens during the whole. That's why it's a show within a show. And then there'll be a little business between the intro and the show, and then a bedtime story. Tonight will be about an episode of The Good Place. And so the intro sometimes people say, well, you were were just talking about nothing or self-promoting for 12 or 14 minutes. But no, no. Give it a shot. You you, like, uh, that's the other thing about the podcast. So it's a structure. Uh, but it's uh, it's uh, tough to process it the first few times if you try to make sense of it or compare it to how normal podcasts are structured. Yeah, ours is a little bit different. It's uh, it's it's got full. You say, well, you, you put the uh, I don't know. You put the filling on the inside and the outside. And I say that's right. I did. It's all fluff. It, it's uh, layers of fluff. You say, well, I thought that was just the. Uh, no, you say usually they just have the fluff at the top for a minute or two. 
And they said, no, ours is layers of fluff. So that's the structure of the show. Also, g- good news, no pressure to listen or make sense of things. You could just kick back and kind of passively consume the podcast. If it's your first fruit tries, you know, just kind of look at it like a strange, like a celestial body. Or just, you know what, just let's just keep it simple. A celestial object. Uh, you'd say, what is that up there? Uh, uh, moving so gently or is it moving or is it just uh, fixated in place is it twinkling or is it a you know you, you say okay well, let me just uh, kick back uh i wonder if that's a planet or a planetoid and, you know regular listeners would say well step down or below what's a, what's a little bit less than a planetoid but you know not a stroid and you say well we don't know so, so you don't need to listen and you don't there's no actually there's other contradiction no pressure to fall asleep uh, this is a podcast that's here to keep you company as you fall asleep, so you can drift off as you wish. Uh, I'm going to be here for about an hour, and if you can't sleep, I'll be here till the very end uh, to, to, to be your friend in the deep, dark night. And why do I make this podcast? Why do we talk about, ru- like, I don't normally try to talk about rumination, but I think when you hear this, it'll be right after, in the U.S., the big uh, one of the big holidays. One of the better ones, in my opinion, because you get Thursday and Friday off. And I'm recording this before at a time. So for me, you know, those, these event, especially these event type holidays where there's a, a meal, a shared meal, they can come and then there's the decor, like, cause they say, uh, you know, you get the decoration pressure. Cause then you say, well, the next holiday's coming up and, uh, yeah, I had to move. The only way I could take down my holiday decorations from 2014 was to move. And believe it or not, th- there must be a list somewhere because my landlord literally said, uh, you know, if you put anything up, you got to take it down right away. And I said, well, then we just won't have decoration. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So there's that kind of rigmarole. Then there's the, like, if it's before or after, if it's after, you could be processing how things went, you know, I'm trying to do this in a circuitous way. Uh, but ahead of time, you know, there could be, you say, what am I going to bring? What am I going to make? Uh, how, why do I got to bring stuff? That could always be something. And you say, how did they get, figure out making a holiday that's just a big pot luck? Why don't they just call it pot luck? Uh, they, they could just call it, th- th- we could, you know, let's change. Can we, is that okay to change the mythology around it? No. Okay. Because I found a mythical, I do have these mythical, as Thanksgiving is a holiday I'm talking about, uh, figures in my life, in my cabinets. Even though I moved, I found a, a can of uh, Sunny Select turkey gravy with expiration date of 2013 on it. And that is even a layer of rumination. It's like, well, one, why did you move with it? I said, good question. So I could use it in a podcast intro, maybe. Uh, two, what the heck, what's going, what's going on with that? Uh, and they said, well, I was worried one about a gravy short, the great, you know, didn't you read those uh, articles about the great gravy shortage of, uh, once upon, once upon a time? No. Also, by the way, Scooch, you also have two other things like turkey gravy in your cat. Okay. So then you have that S H A M E word. And again, this is, I'm sharing this with you so you can relate. So you say, well, I'm not alone. And they say, well, do I owe that gravy? So I say, oh, should I write an ode? Oh, great. Oh, turkey gravy. Hear my voice across the night. Uh, hear my ode of apology for not using the except in my anxiety. Oh, turkey gravy. I beg you to forgive me. Or at least, say, you know what? No, no, you don't need to. That was the wrong way. I was, well, I don't know if I was wrong to purchase you, so that's, uh, but I was wrong, or was I wrong not to use you? I guess I was wrong with my intention, oh, turkey gravy, because I just bought you just in case, uh, worried I would be invited to a random Thanksgiving, unpredictably not on Thanksgiving Day, and I would have to grab you so I could get entrance and not feel embarrassed that I didn't bring anything. And there you sat in my cabinet, uh, sitting there, oh, turkey gravy, with all of your ingredients uh, 
least of which was Turkey when I read you recently, and the unpronounceable ingredients whose names I should be able to give full voice to, I apologize. You are both the whole and the sum of all of your parts. I don't know if you wish in deep form to be used. You know, uh, By the way, check out Theory of Everything podcast on PRX. It's a member of Radiotopia. Uh, just, just search for theory of, theory of Everything in your podcast tab. Uh, but anyway, oh, turkey gravy. Uh, I'm sorry, and I'm sorry to use you further as a device in making a metaphor about rumination and how wondering tonight if I did, if this was a true apology or, you know, uh, you know I'll be still thinking about it, turkey gravy. Maybe I could cradle you here and say, hey, I'm sorry if, if I could make a podcast just for things in my cupboard. Universally, of course. I mean, the great cupboard that holds us all called the, the is it the universe of the galaxy? Oh, turkey gravy. If I could hold you in my heart, uh, I, that would, you know. I don't know if that'd be a good idea, but to hold you like I'm holding you in my heart, uh, to tell you a bedtime story tonight, to take your mind off of whatever's keeping you awake, uh, using these lulling, soothing, creaky, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones, not modified with cornstarch, uh, not dehydrated onions, or not like those two containers of crunchy onions also in my cupboard along with the cranberry and the cream of mushrooms, all in my one-day uh, Thanksgiving cupboard. Oh, turkey gravy. Maybe I'm just here to soothe you, too. To take your mind off of stuff, any existential feelings you might have, uh, especially when you say, well, why did you put, you know, why couldn't you just... Uh, Maybe you had your whole community there and your friends. Uh, oh, you're just a can of gravy. Okay, well, it sounds like you're talking to me now. Why don't you get uncomfortable? I'm rocking you so gently, thinking about your viscosity and saying, as a can good, maybe I'll just keep you forever. You truly are more... Oh, enrobed in paper that says Sunny Select. Oh, glue that binds you to the can that holds you. Oh, gravy, you are great, and I, I doth apologize uh, uh, for not living up to, well, I guess I have lived up to, if you, you couldn't choose me, though. But I uh, soothe you, okay, gravy. Thank you uh, for hearing me tonight. Uh, and, and to everyone else out there, yeah, maybe it's time, you know, I'll be here to take your mind off stuff, but in the moments uh, before the podcast or after, go ahead and, and, you know, picture a kitten in your arms or a puppy or baby or a can of turkey gravy snuggled in as we gently rock it, in, you know, soothing from the heart and saying, huh, I know. And let the, you know, even though this can is covered in, you know, paper that says turkey gravy with a perfect picture of uh, deliciousness on its cover, let it reflect back to you. You can rock yourself at the same time. Those forgotten cans, uh, maybe they don't need to be ruminated on. Maybe they'll fully forgive us 100% right to turkey gravy. And say, no rumination needed for the ode we sing in your honor. And, uh, you, know, to gent you know, especially with this gently rocking, don't you like it? Oh, turkey gravy. Both a symbol and a reality at the same time. Thank you. And thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate your time and checking the show out, especially if you're new. Give it a few tries. No reason you wouldn't be skeptical, especially at this point. Uh, but I'm here to help uh, to take your mind off stuff. Uh, 
I work very hard. I yearn and I strive because I want to help you fall asleep. Uh, and here's a couple of ways we keep the show uh, going. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble, getting to sleep, trouble, staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's thoughts, feelings, physical sensations, uh, changes in time, temperature, your routine, habit, uh, whatever's keeping you awake. I'd like to, 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 to distract you from that, distract you from that, to uh, keep you company. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to send my voice across the deep dark night. I'm going to use lulling, uh, soothing, creaky dulcet tones, pointless meanders, uh, superfluous tangents. I'm going to go off topic, uh, all to be your friend, uh, to, to keep you company here in the deep dark night. Uh, it's a slow, I guess the intros have flown like molasses right now for some reason. Uh, but you know, I'm here to be, I'm here to help. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my voice across the deep dark night. I'm going to use a lulling, soothing, creaky dulcet. Oh, did I already say that I did? Pointless meander. Sorry about that. I guess I'm a little off, uh, the, tonight, uh, but, but I'm here to help. But, you know, be honest here is, uh, I'm like uh, feeling, I don't know if it's tepid or lackadaisical. Like, uh, I, I, I slept good last night, but up until last night, I hadn't slept so good. And it's one of the reasons why I make this show. Now, if you're new, maybe I'll come back to, you know, this is not make it about me. Let's make it about you. Hey, welcome. Come on in. I created this safe place. I smoothed it. I patted it or rubbed it down. You know, I added some extra, you know, D's in there uh, for delightfully dreamy. Yeah, see, and, uh, you know, D's also make good pillows because, you like, these are 3D D's, believe it or not, uh, D's in three dimensions. The D says, finally, I get my due. Because uh, the, the D said, you know, you know, everybody just looks at me from the side. And then if they look at me straight on when I'm only unidimensional, they say, well, they could be any letter. It could be an I. You see, no, I'm a D. You're just looking at me straight on. But I, that was when I was a 2D D. Look out, world, I'm a 3D D now. But look at me. This is maybe a breakthrough. Uh, somebody get the Zaltzman on the phone. We we got uh we got it we got some uh, we got some letters. Uh, uh, we haven't checked with uh, Helen in a while. Uh, but let's see. So uh, if you're new, don't try to make a whole lot of sense of this podcast. I mean, you can, but most reviewers say it's better if you kind of consume it passively at first to see how it goes. Uh, surrender to the flow was a recent review. Someone said. Uh, and say, hey, well, I'm just going to kind of observe this, like, uh, just like watching a bird at a bird bath. I mean, when I watch a bird, I say, well, when you, when's, did the bird bring its own soap? Uh, or uh, is it like, I think this has come up before, too, a bird bath. To say, are you just, are you really taking a bath or are you playing around in there? And that's like every parent at bedtime anyway. But for baths, uh, for birds, I think when every time they go to a, what are you social? Are you taking a bird? You know, but they say, are you taking a bath or are you socializing? And they say, well, ma, this is the first time I've seen all these different birds. I'm just trying to sketch up and see what life like a sparrow is like. And, uh, you know, Robin, Robin's famous. So sorry, ma. Oh, so, but new listeners, do you like, kind of like, see if it goes like that, uh, yeah, because I'm here to help. Uh, so don't try to make too much sense of it. No pressure to listen. Uh, this can be a, this is a podcast that can be here while you fall asleep, as opposed to putting you to sleep uh, to keep you company as you drift off. Uh, maybe you could just barely hear my dog Koa snoring in the background. I don't know. I think I put her to sleep. Uh, recently, she she likes to sleep right by the door, or, or lie there and listen. And she gives me notes afterwards. Uh, she says, let's let's have a lunch meeting. I said, well, it's a four o'clock. It's between breakfast. You don't eat lunch, actually. You eat breakfast and dinner. Well, yeah, but I got to give you some notes on the podcast. So sit down. Uh, okay, but if you're a new listener, let me get back. So I do tend to go off topic and change topics. Uh, but I'm, so don't, don't try to figure stuff out. I guess that was it. Uh, 
No pressure to fall asleep. That's the other thing. I'm going to be here for about an hour. You can also queue up episode after episode after episode if you need to. Uh, but yeah, like, uh, I'm here to the very end. I put everything into these shows. So if you can't fall asleep, uh, at least I can be here to keep you company. Uh, so let's see. No pressure to fall asleep. No pressure to listen. Oh, structure of the show. So the show starts off with a few minutes of business. That's how we keep the show going and free. Yeah, then there's an intro, which probably we're like through five minutes into. The intros are around 12 minutes or so of me, you know, trying to talk, explain what the podcast is. It ends up taking me somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes uh, to, to try to, to, to get this information. Podcast to put you asleep. Be here while you fall asleep. Keep you company. No pressure to listen. No pressure to fall asleep. Structure of the show, start off with the business and the intro. Uh, then we'll have a little bit of business between the intro and the show. Uh, then the show, uh, which tonight will be a launch of our uh, holiday, uh, a new holiday series, uh, which is definitely episodic. Uh, each episode is self-contained, uh, so you can listen to it in, every, in, in any order. Although I haven't recorded any of the episodes yet, so maybe, maybe not, but we'll see. Uh, so let's see, episodic, oh, stru- and then there's some thank yous at the end. So, so that's the structure of the show. And I make the show because I've had trouble falling asleep. Like things like, uh, you know, I'll be lying in bed, and the next thing I know, I'll say, what about these 3D letters? Uh, this 3D D, keep, com- keep coming back to that picture in my head. And they say, I had no idea you had such beautiful sides. Uh, you're so full. Uh, it's like I've never, it's like I'm seeing you, right, in three dimensions, finally. I've been this way the whole time. You just represented me in two dimensions. Well, also, like, spoken and, you know, short, you know, short sound and long sound. D, is that only in vowels or is there a short D and a long D? Is it D and da or da? Uh, let's see, D- duck, uh, uh, don, da, duck, don. A dessert, uh, uh, Dimitri, uh, divine. I don't know, but sorry about that, D. Uh, it's good to see you. In, w- w- one day you'll be in the four dimensions, or maybe even five. You, I've heard there's like up to twelve other ones. I know why can't I just? Say, well, you look great. I, I tell you what, I've never seen a letter look better in three dimensions. You're correct. I have never seen any other letters. And what letters other than D would I want to see in three dimensions? Only you and all of the other letters that would like to be in three dimensions. But I'm really enjoying just seeing you, D. How does it feel? Go ahead. Feel your side. Oh, you don't have any. Uh, we didn't We didn't anthropomorphize you. We just made you into three dimensions. Here, let me just adjust to this setting on my imagination just a couple of clicks. Yep, there you go. You could be, now you're anthropomorphized or whatever. So now you could touch your sides. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Feel your figure. It's lovely. It is lovely. Oh, D. It's, uh, I, I, I think I used up all of the D words in my vocabulary, except for darn with an A. You know, but I'd say it the other way if I was looking at you in the mirror, D. I'd say diggity dog, hot diggity dog. I think that's what Goofy, Goofy used to see, or uh, some afternoon show. Yeah, so it's good to see you. It's good to be in three dimensions, and I think you should, uh, you know, spread the word, if you don't mind me punning around, and see if any other letters are, uh, you know, because I don't know if you should show off and say, hey, C, A, B, C, D, E. You know, I think maybe you are the one that was, you know, because 3DD. Somebody just called uh, from the 70s, and they said 3DD was patented back then. So I'm going to have to put you back in two dimensions. No, you need glasses to see. In that case, we'd need special glasses to see you. That only existed in the 70s. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I don't want to put you back uh, into, I'm just, uh, you know what? Let's just violate the terms of that. I got enough people on my tail anyway. Maybe you could help me. Maybe you could go to school. Maybe you could go to school to be whatever the person is, uh, like a, a, a patent violator, trademark violator, defendant, defender is. 
a defender of scoots when he uses, you know, three terms like 3DD. Oh, actually, and it was uh, said like that, 3DD. So maybe we're, you already have a case, and now you just got to go to law school and, uh, you know, get that sorted out. But particularly, the sooner the better for me, it D. Oh, it makes me want to sing, but I probably shouldn't. I mean, it is the beginning of the podcast. And, yeah, this is a podcast that thinks about these kind of things. It's a podcast uh, to put you to sleep, to be here while you fall asleep. If you're new, if you're new, I think that's kind of all the info you need. Like, uh, I, I can't sleep sometimes. Uh, and also wanted somebody to be there to keep me company, while, you know, and say, hey, it stinks. Uh, let me try to help. Now, this podcast doesn't work for everybody. So give it a few tries. See if it works for you. Uh, but I'm here to help. Uh, so let's see how it goes. I really appreciate your time and, and you coming by. And I work very hard and I yearn and I strive to help you fall asleep. Uh, thanks so much. And here's a couple of ways we keep the show uh, going. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do it with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's uh, thoughts, uh, feelings, uh, you know, things on your mind, uh, things emotionally coming up for you, physical physical sensations, uh, changes in time or temperature or travel, all of which are common right now, or it could be someone else traveling. Whatever it is that's keeping you awake, I'd like to take your mind off of that. What I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to create this a safe place. Uh, I have it set aside. I have safe uh, Within the safe place, I have a place set aside for you. And, yeah, it's customizable. Upgra- it's not upgradable because, it, well, it is upgradable, but all, like, uh, in- instantaneous upgrades. Or you'd say, I don't think it's an upgrade. It's just make it better. You say, well, uh. You know what I mean? Because usually you upgrade, they say, well, that's going to be, you know, another four bucks. In this case, you just say, well, I could use a cup rest. You say a cup rest or a cup holder. And you say, great, great question. So Scoots, uh, and they say, okay, let me get back to you. Cup rest. I don't know if they have those yet. They have cup holders. Cup rest. Uh, the view from the cup rest. Uh, a solo story. Number two. There you go. Uh, 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 okay, so if you're new, though, sorry, I went off topic early. Here's a couple of things. We're in the beginning of the show. This is a meandering intro. It takes about 12 minutes or so. And uh, you give it a few tries. Don't try to make too much sense of it if you're new. That's what almost every regular listener says, which is like a couple hundred thousand people, uh, which is a good number of people. And they, they say, well, you give it a few tries. The first time I didn't make sense, like I tried to make sense of it. But the intro is a, a friendly monologue, uh, not a infomercial or anything. So just get comfy. You could fall asleep during this, but a lot of listeners use it as part of their wind-down routine as they get ready for bed. Uh, a few listeners, I think I said, I can't remember the math now. If it's 3%, skip, skip straight to the story, which is usually around 20 minutes or so in. Uh, and uh, some people fall asleep during the intro. More and more people will listen to the intro during the day or the story during the day just to unwind. Uh, then, there's, then there'll be uh, not a story tonight. Tonight will be a uh, uh, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade recap uh, where I'll try to run through the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade or, or some guests will. So that'll be... Uh, uh, that'll be the story, that, and then there'll be some thank yous and some good nights at the end. Between the intro and the story and at the beginning of the show is the business. That's how we keep the show free uh, and going, you know, like 90 plus hours a week going to work, keeping the show free and easy for you. So I'm here to put you to sleep, and that's the structure of the show. So uh, structurally, that's what to expect. Uh, and then... Oh, is that everything structural? Yeah. So if you, also, if you're new, the, the, the show doesn't make a lot of sense. They go off topic a lot. Oh, wait, I didn't say. I'm going to send my, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'm going to use a lowly, lulling, soothing tones, uh, also lulling, soothing tones. 
and Lolly's uh, soothing t- uh, t- tones. Uh, pointless meanders, superfluous tangents, backwards logic, turning inward, and then spiraling outward, ideally. Uh, and uh, to, to, to help you fall asleep, to keep you company as you drift off. So those are the other things. This is a podcast you don't need to listen to. You you don't need you should not feel obliged to listen to it. Definitely, uh, but you're also no, you're under no pressure to listen or to fall asleep. I'm going to be here for about an hour to keep you company as you drift off. Uh, so if you fall asleep fast, that's great. Uh, I'm here. Uh, but, you know, and uh, while you sleep, I'll just be talking. I'll be keeping you company even while you drift off. And that is part of what I think works about the show is for a lot of us, there's a parade of thoughts uh, running through our heads or parade of f- feelings or, or something. And a lot of them got that marching band stuff or big balloons to, to, to grab a hold of our attention. Or at least this what's happened. This what's happened. This was the. Grab a hold of my words. I think that was my balloon. My words just went off in a balloon. Yeah, but they grab a hold of our thoughts and they say, well, boy, there's where you had that runny nose. Uh, and then, a, then there's a band and they say, this is the, uh, you know, down home fun band is singing. Uh, Don't sniffle, blow that nose. And you say, well, I already saw the balloon. I don't even have a runny nose. That was like 18 years ago. Uh, so there could be a parade of thoughts and, and the difference is this podcast is kind of a parade of nonsense, but kind of like a, like a blurry nonsense where you say, huh, I can see there's some nonsense in that parade, but I can't really focus on it, but it is, it moves nicely. It moves in a soothing way, even though it's a nonsensical parade. Here's, here's a question just popped in my head. And I guess I already know the answer to this, which unfortunately would be, but you see, is a nonsensical parade, what's the route for a nonsensical parade? Uh, but as someone who's done this podcast for so long, you say, well, it have to be pretty, like, unfortunately, to be so nonsensical, it would have to have a pretty well-structured uh, route. Uh, I realize that's paradoxical, but... Uh, and they say, well, that's nonsense. And I'd say, right, right, that's the correct kind of structured nonsense in the nonsensical. And also you got to, you know, stay off the sidewalk. That's for the viewers of the parade. And they'd say, I didn't join a nonsensical parade for this kind of nonsense. And I'd say, well, we have a nonsense. We have the nonsense parade scheduled for 2 p.m. You could be in that parade. Uh, that parade is very strict, uh, by the way. Uh, both, so I don't know what kind of nonsense or nonsense you're looking for. But yeah, this is, podcast is so nonsensical. It follows a structure that you don't need to listen to. And that there's no pressure to fall asleep. You know, so it's full of nonsensical ideas. Like uh, you, you, you even you, sometimes you have a parade of decent thoughts. Like that whole cup. You say, well, they have cup holders. What did I say? What about a cup lifter? I think that would have to be, they call that an arm and a hand. And I'd say, okay, what was the other one? I said, a cup a cup perch. Uh, bad idea. Okay, great. That was easy. You don't want to perch your cup on anything, even though we do. It's human nature. As the great cup of philosopher, uh, 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 it was one of, the, like, uh, I can't think of anything other than solo when it comes to cups. Oh, Dix, it was a. Uh, so Dixie Solo, also believe it or not, it is my third in the lineup of uh, of uh, of dancer names. When I when I just say, well, I'm not feeling like whoever it was, uh, uh, Milan Rouge, M- Melange Rouge. Uh, that that's also one of my that's a name I've been testing out. Not quite there yet, but it's the name. But yeah, I said that's when I give it. Like I like to dance as Dixie solo sometimes, mostly square dancing, like without a partner or an imaginary partner. That's to get it. It's Dixie solo. I didn't get it. My brain just told me a joke or a pun. Uh, we were talking about cu- we did, we had cut. So we took, there's a parade of thoughts. You see, okay, cup perch. No, cup holder already invented. Cup cup uh, lifter. Maybe just get yourself a like a lift one of those self lifting desks that would automatically lift your cup. You say, well, this uh, standable desk or whatever also com- comes with a cup lifter. 
And you see, the, well, the cup's just on the desk. Yes, it's in, it's lifted with the desk uh, on the surface of the desk. But I saw it, it invented something else. It was a cup stand. No, that's more, that's also something. Uh, a cup with a view. I thought that's what I was naming the movie. Uh, how about this, a cup summit? Uh, that could be a lot of things. You know, me, like uh, cups coming together to figure out stuff, uh, cup and cup related. Things interesting to cups and uh, things interesting to cup makers. But yeah, it could be a podcast, a cup summit, uh, cup notes. Uh, only podcast about cups. Uh, and uh, every episode <laughs> contains a joke, ICUP. Uh, at some point during this podcast, uh, what other, uh, like, uh, cup summit, uh, yeah, I like that idea. The cup that summited, can you say the cup that's reached a summit, uh, the cup that could, that book's been written probably already a few times. Mine would be the cup that could, uh, pregnant pause, summit, uh, the story of the cup in that dude's pocket that went all the way up to the top of Everest. Uh, my story. Yeah, how about that? The cup says, well, like, uh, this was back in the 70s when those Dixie cups were a thing. A dude washed his hands in the bathroom uh, then took a shot of water and said, well, I can't just throw the Dixie cup away and put it, put it in his pocket, summited Everest, uh, possibly. This is all imaginary. And, uh, with the help of like a thousand people, uh, and yeah, that was my story. Uh, uh, the cup that could summit, uh, and he said, well, actually you were carried along. And he said, who, who's carrying who? I was full of, you know, you ever heard of hydration, uh, bub? Actually, this is a sleep podcast. I don't need any cups. Uh, uh, I see you peak up, uh, bada boom. Anyway, so this is a podcast to keep you company to take your mind off of stuff as you drift off to sleep. But the reason I make the show is because I've been there, eh, tossing and turning, and, and I just like to help if, if I can. Uh, I think that's it. So uh, don't try to make too much as, as a sense of the show. If this is your first, first few times to listen, give it a few tries. See how it goes. Uh, but I'm here to help uh, because I really, truly believe you deserve a good night's sleep. Uh, I uh, appreciate you coming by. I work very hard now. You're in a nice drive uh, to, 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 to keep you company as you drift off into dreamland. Thank you so much. And here's a couple of ways we keep the show going. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble or getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do with a bedtime story. All you need to do... If you so choose, is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. Uh, I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to do is uh, attempt to, to create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's thoughts or feelings, physical sensations, it changes in time or temperature. Whatever's keeping you awake, I'd like to help with that. I'd like to, uh, well, here's what I propose to do. And then I'll kind of explain it, too. If you're new, that, that's why I do this. But it's also because uh, I like to be a familiar friend. In fact, it's so familiar. You say, well, Scoots, I'm so familiar with this that I could just fall asleep. Uh, would be our long-term goal. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'm going to use lulling, soothing, creaky dulcet tones, pointless meanders, uh, tangents that are rustified. Uh, extra words, super. I don't know if I have superfluidity, uh, but like if you could make superfluous words, like I say, like uh, whatever they, you know, when there's a gas and it's a liquefied, and I, you know, I talked about this stuff before. I don't, that kind of stuff I don't get. They say, isn't that, and I guess, but I haven't delved, delved too deep, and I say, wait a second, it's a liquefied natural gas. No, 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 no. It's just liquefied natural something else. Uh, and I guess you say, well, you put the gas in your... You say, okay, but that's just straight gas. You, you, don't, you don't say liquefied natural petroleum gas or whatever the heck it... Anyway, I got to get to... I can't go off topic this soon. And especially talking about the uh, big FF, fossil fuels. I, I don't know if that's... Uh, 
So that whole thing of liquefying. Oh, well, I was saying, what was I saying? I already have no idea. I think I was talking about oh, super, super, super fluidity. My super superfluous something else with a litter of uh, thing has super flu, super fluidity. Oh, the whole idea of the podcast, I guess, is to keep you company. If you're new, let me give you a few pieces of information. In all seriousness, to introduce you to the show. One, here's the structure. Show starts off with business. That's a key way we keep the show going and free. But if you're new, then not that important because you're new. Check it out first. Then we have an intro. Now, this isn't a traditional podcast intro. It's a 12-minute show within a show where I kind of talk about how the podcast works. And I demonstrate, you know, it, like if I had a lab... Like, well, if I had a, gr- a grasp of science, engineering, uh, the scientific, you know, if I had the scientific method down, that's what I always say to everybody, I, I, even in school. I said, well, if I had a lab, I would get the scientific method right down. Or even earlier, this is how I'd get stuff. It's said, well, if I had a trap, I wouldn't be getting these Fs if I had a new trapper keeper. Because that's what happens, Pops. My papers fall out. They had this thing called a Trapper Keeper. It was basically an overpriced binder with sideways folders. It actually, it made sense at the time. I mean, it, here's the thing. I don't have any spare change lying around, but if I did, and this is a free piece of advice, Warren Buffett, call me. Let's reinvest in this Trapper I, I can tell you it's coming back uh, next school year. I bet you I'm, I'm willing to bet a... Uh, I'm willing to bet your money on it, Warren, uh, if you'll give me a percentage, if it works out. Okay, what was they saying? Oh, so the intro is a show within a show. Yeah, where uh, there's a lot of superfluous dialogue about how the podcast works. Uh, some listeners fall asleep during the intro. Some listeners get ready for bed during the intro. Uh, some listeners listen during the day. So a few people skip the intro, uh, but it's, it introduces you to the podcast and to the concept over and over again in a new way every time. I hope it feels f- familiar for a regular listener and welcoming for a new one. Uh, then we have some business between the intro and the show, or the episode part. And then tonight we'll be uh, talking about uh, a Doctor Who episode, about the uh, Christmas. Uh, uh, the, you know, the, there's a lot of cover bands, Beatles cover bands called The British Invasion. And other than Beatlemania, that's probably the number two name for Beatles cover band, unless someone trademarked it. And uh, or maybe there's just two two of the names, uh, like uh, Yellow Submariners, sub, Yellow Submariners. That's, I think if I had a Beatles cover band, I'd need to play music. I'd need my scientific method, my lab, and my trapper keeper. Uh, but we would, we'd be the Submariners, the Yellow Submariners. Sorry, Submariner. Submariner, how do you feel about that uh, Aqu- Aquaman movie coming out? I don't know when it comes out. Uh, might already be out. Uh, Cal Ka- 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 Drogo is the star of it. Uh, he's J- uh, Jason is his name. He's a strap. Did, he defines stra- like uh, if you look up look up strapping in the dictionary, you'll see him in there, and it, it seems pretty charming too. Charismatic, you're right. So okay, so the intro is a show within a show. Oh, then we'll be talking about who, who, you know, well, Dr. Who. Uh, then at the end is some uh, thank yous and good nights. So that's the structure of the show. It's a little late to tell you this maybe if you're new, but don't try to figure the podcast out. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It is a bit counterintuitive in a way that if you hold it gently, you'll say, oh, okay, oh, okay, kind of, I kind of get it. It's hard, I kind of get it. It's hard to get. There's not much to get. I mean, really, this might sound haughty, but the, the substance, this podcast is substantive. If I could have pronounced it correctly, it would have been ha- ha- haughty. Or, or was hardiness is in its haughtiness. I guess if I had a soup place, that's what I'd say. The ha- haughty soup shop, uh, but I was going to say this podcast is substantive, substantive, in its something, in, in its in, in something. But I messed it up. But then I thought of a better idea: uh, Haughty Soup Factory, the Haughty Super. You're right, maybe, maybe. But we'd say Hardy and our our haughtiness 
is because it's of our hardiness. Uh, what was I saying? I was trying to, oh, so, oh, your podcast doesn't make a lot of sense. That, that, there you go. I proved that right there. And I was just trying to think of something. I did have something with that substantive, our substance is in our insubstantially substantive or something, I, whatever. Uh, so don't try to make sense of the show. Just going to kick back and passively consume it. See how it goes. I mean, most people that review the show say it took two or, two or three times so they can get used to. It doesn't work for everybody, but I'm here to help. Uh, it does, Like I said, I hope it works for you, but it doesn't work for everybody. Uh, so I guess that's uh, structure of the show. Yeah, we'll talk about Doctor Who and maybe like eight more minutes. Um, oh, you don't need to listen to me. You don't need to take me seriously. You can. I mean, I'm serious about making this show. I'm committed. I've done 700-something episodes because I'm here to help. I've been there. Uh, but there's no pressure to fall asleep. The reason the shows are about an hour is so I can be here the whole time while you fall asleep at your leisure. But here's the other layer. The shows are complete. I'm here to the very end in case you can't fall asleep uh, for, or for those other listeners that won't or if you're one of them. I'm here for you. I'm your boyfriend. Uh, so I'm going to be here till the very end to keep you company while, whether you're awake or asleep. So yeah, I can't remember what I was talking about before that I thought I was going to go back to. I mean, that's a haughty and hoardy, hoardy, a hoardy, the hoardy hoarder. What about that for like a uh, used, like a secondhand shop? Uh, I think that's probably better. We could ser serve hearty soup there though on, on Saturdays only. Let me try to do an ad read for that. Just read, come on down to the haughty hoarder. Uh, it was uh, Saturday's soup day. It's hearty, and we're hard, you know hearty in our haughtiness here. Here at the the haughty, haughty hoarder, a hearty with uh, whatever another word for secondhand items uh, that starts with H would be great. Uh, but come on down. Oh, by the way, because we're haughty because I'm always grouchy. Except on these commercials, because I want you to come to my store down at the Haughty Hoarder. Uh, this is, I, I guess I'd have to use a pseudonym. I'd be Harry from the Haughty Hoarder, or Harold's Haughty Hoarder, or Horace's Haughty Hoarder might be better. That's a name. I mean, Harry kind of sounds, doesn't sound like a haughty name. It's a hearty name. Uh, then who, who, How Howard, uh, I think Harold Horace, Horace is ha haughty hoarder. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I'll work with the pseudonyms when I launch this imaginary secondhand shop that won't ever, I mean, luckily that'll only exist in my imagination. Well, let's see. Let's recap. So I'm here to help. I'm here to take your mind off. So I'm here to keep you company. I covered the structure show. I demonstrated and covered the fact you don't really need to listen to me too closely uh, to see how it goes. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm trying to think of what else I could have missed. I mean, like, uh, the main thing is I've struggled to sleep, and I continue to have uh, ups and downs with my relationship with sleep, but particularly last night. Uh, I had, like, just it was just one of those nights, and I said, what in the heck? Uh, I mean, I did have to be up early. You know when you have to be up earlier than normal? That's always, like, uh, that's why this podcast is no pressure to fall asleep when you want to. But when you know that alarm's been bumped up by an hour or 45 minutes, you say, okay, how the heck am I, like, how to get to sleep again? Don't you hate, do, so, so here's a way, just kick back, uh, just listen. I'm your boar bud. I'm your boar friend. Maybe if we get to know one another, I'll be your boar bae, your boar bra, your boar cuz, your boar sib. Uh, but I'm here to help, uh, if, if I can. And I really appreciate you giving the show a shot, you're giving it a try. I was just trying, I'm trying to remember what I was talking about at the beginning of the podcast when the first time I got distracted. Oh, liquefied, natural. So, yeah, I was talking about uh, superfluidity of my superfluousness. There's the first time I've gotten back to back words correctly in a while. But I, I don't know. I just get, I guess I hate to point out uh, errors with, you know, the giantest corporations in the world or whatever, but I say, it's not, if it's liquefied, how the heck, I mean, and maybe someone could point that out to me. I mean, I'm sure they will, but, uh, he's, uh, like, uh, 
like what's ice in this context is ice liquefied frozen uh water gas uh i mean i guess I, again i didn't pay a whole lot of attention during these things uh but you'd say so is water liquefied liquefied natural water 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 gas rain cloud cloud gas i'm trying to think of whatever what other things i consume that uh they could analyze in this way or why, you know, I say, well, Scooch, you know, you seem like you're totally relaxed. I say, okay, must fall asleep pretty fast. Then Scooch, you totally are chill. Uh, nothing seems to get at you. What are your pet peeves? Please tell us. Oh, is this pet peeves weekly? Thanks for calling. You know, it's been on my pet peeve. Everybody does that joke, Scooch. It's been on my pet peeve list uh, that you haven't called me. We, yeah, every interviewee says that, uh, well, I bet you not every interviewee has this pet peeve, uh, Dawn. It's uh, liquefied natural gas. What's up with that? Dr- dr- you know, it, it just peeves my pets. I say, I mean, it makes me want to do a Jerry Seinfeld. How can it be a gas if it's a liquid? Uh, hello? Okay. Well, we'll, also, man, well, I guess I'll try cold calling cat fancy again, even though I'm allergic to cats and I don't have any. And to do my bits about fancy cats. Hello? Okay, even my brain hung up on me. Anyway, I'm here to help. I'm here to be your friend, uh, to keep you company in the deep, dark night. I appreciate you checking this show out. I hope it works for you. Give it a few tries. Uh, but here's the thing. I work very hard because I strive and I yearn to help you fall asleep. But thank you again for coming by. And if you're with me still, here's a couple of ways we keep this show going. Hey, everybody, Scoots here tucking you in and letting you know uh, if you're listening and you're saying, you know, I want a more comfortable way to listen to Sleep With Me, but I also want the Sleep With Me logo on it. You could check out our Sleep Phones merch store at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash sleep phones. It's all Sleep Phones, the whole lineup uh, with the Sleep With Me, you know, Sleep With Me logo on there. Pretty cool. You could get there at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash sleep phones and then use our promo code Sleep With Me and you'll get an extra $5 off. Uh, how do you want, me to, you want me to tuck in there? Move it? Move those blankets? Okay, how about that? Okay, you got it. Good night.